Hi, I just wanted to demo this GoldWave software I just found, which seems to work pretty well. I'm just going to open a file now, see what we can find here. Something really old and scratchy. There we go. Now, this is how it set the original sounds. <laughs> That's a diamond disc, and you can see how scratchy it is. Now you can just go up here to where it says noise reduction, if I can find it somewhere. There we are, noise reduction. You click on that, it looks at the spectrum, and you can play it back there. And you can see the noise, it reduces the noise very easy. That's with it, and that's without it. There's different uh, kinds here, so that's the automatic where it's looking at this spectrum of the sound. You can also use an average. Or you can use the sharp here, shape here. But their, their current spectrum seems to work the best. Or you can just output the noise only and hear what the noise is. So I've only literally uh, 10 minutes ago put this software on the computer, but I just wanted to show you how it works. seems to work pretty good. I'll try this gold way with uh, just a regular 78 now and not one that's uh, really, really old, turn of the century, one that was electronic recorded. We'll see what we can find here somewhere. Here's a pole rope so nobody knows. We'll give that a shot. So this is what it sounds like without. Pretty good actually. I'm going to try their noise reduction. No noise whatsoever. Mind you, I don't know, you know, like when I'm putting video on YouTube that I'd actually um, use this because I like to kind of keep it real because I think once you're, you're manipulating the sound, you're not actually getting, you want to get the best sound you can from a particular record, but, you know, once you start manipulating it in the software, I don't, you know, I think there's always some compromise made. We'll try this with a Frank Sinatra one, see how that sounds. This is the original Frank Sinatra 78. And you're getting a lot of rumble because um, I'm just using the microphone, but I've also got my uh, uh, Tannoy subwoofer hooked in there too, so that really picks up any bass tones you've got in. Anyway, let's try it with the noise reduction. We'll play it back that way. A girl 
to sit by his side at the end of a weary day to sit by his side. Not bad. But there again, as I said, whenever you manipulate the sound, you know, that's why we play records, because we want analogue. Although when we're going up on YouTube or anything, we're digital, of course. But once you start crunching different frequencies to remove sound, there's always got to be a compromise. But I thought this uh, Gold Wave did a pretty good job, so you don't have to do a lot of fiddling with it, because I had a different uh, free software that was on the net, and it worked, but you have to do a lot of fiddling. This, you just simply push the button and you can play back the original. So you can hear that rumble with the subwoofer on. Hefty subwoofer. Of course, that, that's with my um, Garage 301. There's a bit of rumble. If it was a direct drive, you probably got less. And this is without it. This is with the filter. Quiet. Maybe it's too good, because that's why I play 78s, because I want it to be real. <laughs> 